Hello, this is Princess Zilga. I do not wish to give large introductions when I have something mattering to say. Hola, good day. What I am explaining here is the way we insert ourselves to our society. What do we deem right and what do we deem not right? There's many words, ethic, moral, but someone who stabs another person doesn't have ethic nor moral, and hence doesn't have a place in our society. Because where does it start and where does it end? Where does it begin? The belief system that you can hurt somebody is inherent in the destruction. I do not want to address these things in detail because I loathe to even think about it. I will, I'm forced to. So, you gave her a tiny shot of a taste of heroin, that's all. So tell me, did you kill the woman? The question was risen like, it had to do with fidelity, I think. That was a Mexican thing to say. There are people being infidel. So he invites you up to a, cup, a night cup. What is the moment where you started to be infidel? When you slept with him? When you took your blouse off? When you drank? When you went into his apartment? In the car where you agreed to? Where did it start it? Well, you knew if you would accept his night cup, maybe even before that, but that was the that wasn't really the picture at the time. Yeah, okay, it could have been a business associate who gave you some. I don't know. You had maybe a meeting. Everybody was there. You got a you got a little bit of um. You got a ride from someone. Oh, like my teacher Bron Brenner, in I don't know which grade that was. Some grade. He was my middle school teacher, he was the tutor. No, I was it was middle school, of course, because high school we had someone different. Well, we had something going on in La Fabrique, the whole class, and he, I don't know why, he gave me a ride, I don't know where, to the to the subway station, to the, I don't know. Yeah, that was the story with the Schlaglöcher, that's a German term for batches, which is an English term when it was a parking lot made of sand, and because of the rain there were lots of holes. So he was like the serious PE teacher and math teacher and physics teacher, but he also was the tutor of our class, like the person of reference. Yeah, he was very serious about everything, hence math and physics. And suddenly he comes out of his tiny little robotic figure and smiles at me and drives purposefully through these little holes. And the car would make like, like... <laughs> Well, I didn't know those existed in Germany from the movies, like people from the 50s, 60s cars. Like, yeah, Mexican Hoyotas, like Pochos, they would use those that jump up and down. Are they for real? Maybe they're just in the movies. Because who, who, has, who has the diligence to actually prosper and doing search? Anyway, so he would drive through and up and down like a ride. And Disneyland didn't exist then either in my world. Boo, hoo, hoo, ha, ha. And he would look at me, he would smile like a little child, like a little boy, out of the joy. Now he did something unusual, but he was accepted. He knew it. It was super cute, actually, and so unexpected coming out from him. Look, people who have a sense of liberalism and a sense of humanism, they also can have a sense of humor. And that's exactly what happened. He can look at things from the, because this is not accepted that he is a teacher and does those things because of the authority and stuff. Today, things have to be evaluated from various perspectives and you may not be able to understand it because you have to put things into historic context. At the time, this was outrageous. There was the time where everybody feared authority. Yeah, that was before I put Hess down, the Nazi. Maybe he understood. Maybe he was the first German who understood. Ich habe noch Sand in den Schuhen aus Hawaii. 
I still have sand in the shoes from Hawaii. Because I was just sitting in his classroom, helping his intellect to develop. I never talked about the song. But maybe what I depicted to someone who could be susceptible is that I'm just not like everybody else. And what makes me different and special? Because I wasn't arrogant, I wasn't sarcastic, I wasn't even interacting with anybody. I did not belong to any group. I did my own thing. But that's not all. An adult can see how I see and analyze stuff, what is my viewpoint, and that there's more to it than just the orange. We got a whole fruit basket for starters. Ich habe noch Sand aus den Schuhen von Hawaii. Ich habe noch Sand aus den Schuhen aus Hawaii. I want me to sing it. It's horrible. Ich hab noch Sand in den Schuhen aus Hawaii. <laughs> Sorry, ridiculous. I still have sand in the shoes from Hawaii. It's good for English. So what, what do you have? Do you have shoes or you have sand? Do you have sand in your shoes? Is the sand from Hawaii or did you bought the shoes in Hawaii? That's the point. That there is more than one interpretation. Why does it hurt me? You? It's ridiculous because it brings everything into perspective. You look at it with clarity. Did he bought his shoes in Hawaii? Or did he just uh, took his shoes to Hawaii and now he has sand in it? I'm not asking for more. I wasn't this gassing or arguing about whether you should have shoes and go to the beach. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just, this is the only thing I ever referred to. Where did the shoes come from? <laughs> because people assume stuff and it's not always the way it is. So you start looking at the news from a different perspective. If you look into that, I'm what a Nachrichtensprecher. I'm a radio station of news. Well, what I'm bringing hopefully is insight what well, anything I ever say is about inside, so you have more purpose in life and understand things from any perspective necessary for you to become you. That's all there is to it. Nothing more, nothing less. So back to the beginning, the way you insert yourself in society, well, I put everything into jeopardy, I have to say, during my entire life, so you would understand that you cannot just hurt other people, that you cannot take children and traffic them because now you feel like you can do that. Today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap. That email? I took a nap. Zoom call? I took a nap. What about your lunch plan? I took a nap. House chores? I took a nap. Home workout? I took a nap. Bath time? I took a nap. What about the eggies? I made time for that. The end of this chorus? I took a nap. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am. Cold cream soup, taste is cocoa, cocoa. Want me your wife, but 